Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to another uh, video, and today is going to be a tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to change um, heads, fighting styles, and bully. You know, the NPC, whatever. I'm just going to, sh I'm just going to show you how to change a character's fighting style. You know, any character, or any pet. You know, what you're going to need, obviously, Bully Scholarship Edition. Yeah. Um, I wasn't going to plan on making this tutorial, but the one tutorial that, like, actually I learned how to do this from, it's now privated. Um, it was done by a user named, I'm not even joking, General Herpes Gaming. But for some reason, he, like, privated the video. Um... So I decided that I might as well make a new tutorial. Cause you know, before that one came out, that was like the only that was like the best tutorial for it. It was the only one that like was really good and unfortunately, you know, he probably did the video. So I just but since I remember all the steps, because it's actually not that hard, um, I decided I'd make a replacement tutorial. Anyways, so let's get on with it. So yeah. Um, as I was saying, you're going to need Bully, obviously. Um, you also are going to need Fastman 92 Processor, Notepad++, and, you know, HXD, Hex, uh, hex Editor. So, like, you know, if a character, like, if you like modding a character that doesn't spawn in the free roam, like, I don't know, um, Gary... Or any of the click leaders, um, you're gonna need that to spawn them. So yeah, so um, for I guess today's demonstration, I guess we'll just give the hobo, you know, Mr. Brandt, you know, the hobo that, like teaches you the fighting moves in exchange for like transistor parts, you know. We're 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 gonna give him um, Gary's nemesis fighting style, which is his boss style. You know. Which is like very similar to like Jimmy slash the player's fighting style. So yeah. We're just gonna give him that fighting style for this video. So what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna wanna open your bully directory, which is usually located in program files or program files x eight eighty six. Steam Steam Apps, Common, and then Bully Scholarship Edition. What you and then what you're gonna want to do is go into Objects and you see this um default dot IDE um thing. You're gonna want to copy. You're gonna want to copy that. And put it into the Fastman processor folder. By the way, I'll give you a link to the um, Fastman 92 processor in the description. Anyways, um, ignore most of these files. They're, they're mostly stuff I was doing. So. Here, let me just hang on. Change that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to paste the default.ide thing yeah then once you did that you want to right click it and hit open with you know load okay this is taking too long Basically, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to open this with um, Notepad++. So just op oh, wait, there. Oh, there we go. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, so once this pops up, just hit... Just find Notepad++, you know. Look for another app on this PC. Go to Desktop or wherever you save it, did, And then click Notepad++. Hit open. So then once you did that, you're gonna be led to here. So what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna want to find the um. You can also change the character stats with this too, but I'll do that in a separate tutorial. 
So what you want to do is that you want to find the character that you're uh, modding. In this case, um, we want um, the hobo, or Mr. Green. So what you want to do, you want to type in their name. And there you go, Grant. Now, what's interesting is that about some of the names, that some characters are, like, named incorrectly. Like, for some reason, Mr. Hattrick. Like, let's say if you want to mod Mr. Hattrick. For some reason, he's named Mr. Huntington. You know, as in, like, the townsfolk. Which could imply that maybe, like, Mr. Huntington was supposed to be the math teacher before, like, you know, Mr. Hatcher came in. No, me. And that would be a first type of video. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, just keep in mind some characters are not exactly the named, like, what they are. Because, you know, beta content. So anyways, anyways, so here, we found, anyway, so right here, we have, um, Grant. Mr. Grant, to be exact. Um, and what you're going to want to do, uh... You see where you, well, what, so what you want to do is that you want to go to, you see these two, you know, CV underscore male underscore A, and then that right there, you know, CV underscore male underscore A dot X, or anything like that. What you want to do is that you want to replace, type, you want to replace it with the fighting style that you want to, um, Replace it with basically that's his fighting style, which is like used for all like the male civilians, aka adults. So you know non-authority adult males. So anyways, so yeah, what you're gonna want to do is that you're gonna want to replace it. Style. So in this case, we want Nemesis. And then change it here. Nemesis. There we go. Then, you know, after you're done, you can also change, you know, the stat and everything. You know, stat underscore hobo. Huh, for some reason he's known as a, for some reason listed as a shopkeeper for some reason. Hmm. Or all the other shopkeepers being listed as townsmen. Just in case, um, I'm just gonna change him to a townsperson. Yeah, just so I can respawn. So, once you're done with all your changes, just then just press save. And then, yeah, exit that out. And then what you're gonna wanna do. Sure, I edited the right one just in case. Yep, I did. Then, what you're going to want to do is that you want to go to IDE.txt, select all, copy, and type, and then go to here. And type cmd dot exe, or just type in cmd, I think. Or actually, no, wait. Yeah, there we go. Just type in cmd. And then what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to copy and paste that, and then hit enter. And there you go. And then once you did that, um, you'll get this file right here. Default dot IDB. Then once you did that, what you want to do is that you're gonna wanna. Hold on. First things first. Of course, you're gonna wanna copy and paste. Make some backups. And then you wanna go into IDE dot IMG. Oh yeah, I also forgot. You're also gonna need IMG tool for this, which I'm pretty sure most of you have if you're already into bully modding. 
So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna open it. Well, for me, I already have it set to open it. My own G tool. Hit yes. And then what you're gonna wanna do is that you see this default.idb. What you're gonna wanna do, you wanna wanna right click, then click replace. And then you need to find the file we just made. Which would be in the Fastman processor. There we go. And then here's the file. Open. File replaced. Rebuild archive. Click yes. It should take a couple seconds. And there you go. Grant now has the Nemesis fighting style. But, you know, like I said, since he doesn't usually spawn in free roam, if you did this with a character that, you know, that does spawn in the free roam, you can just launch the game and they should have your fighting style. But, you know, if this is a character that doesn't, like, you know, appear in free roam, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to open this with the hex editor, like that. And then what you, you're going to have to go to search, find, then your character, in this case, Grant. And then you see these, um, see, see these Fs right here? What you're going to want to do is just want to replace that with 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm pretty sure most of you already know this, you know. Swag made a tutorial. Actually, technically he made two tutorials on this, you know, Swag Tough. that you press save and there you go after that you're pretty much done you've successfully replaced the, f the fighting style so let's launch up bully and see our edit in action